Hey there guys, uh, I just thought I'd let you all know that this is going to be the Rubik's Cube tutorial, a corporation's Rubik's Cube tutorial. It will also be posted on Gaptacta, so uh, please watch this tutorial. Now the first thing before we actually get down to learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube is the things you'll need. Uh, you will need most definitely a Rubik's Cube, you will need a pen, a piece of paper, and some determination and patience. So. That's all you'll need. Okay, so now that you know what you're going to need to uh, be able to solve this tutorial and fully use this tutorial to its maximum potential, you will now need to scramble the cube. So, let's scramble our cube. Okay, I think that's scrambled up enough. Here's a few things, once you've scrambled up your cube, that you will have to know about this method. One, there are seven steps. Two, there are about five algorithms. So these algorithms will be used to like move and orient and permute certain corners, etc. Alright. Another thing you'll have to know about this tutorial is that the seven steps are this. Okay, so for the first the first step of this method will be to solve a cross on the bottom with all the sides paired up with their centers. The next step after solving the cross would be to solve these bottom corners. We would then solve these middle edges, after which we would solve a cross on the top. After completing the cross on the top, we would solve these sides, permute them. Then after permu permuting the sides, we would permute the corners and finish off by orienting, orienting the corners. So that's what you'll need to know. And another thing, just in case you don't already know, the center cubes, these center pieces never move, right? So no matter what side I turn, bottom layer, the left layer, they never, they don't move. So, another thing is that edges have two stickers on them and corners have three. Now, before you actually start to try to solve your cube, you're going to have to learn something called notation. It is something, it, it is just a way of expressing the moves in an algorithm in a way that can be like told or shown like on paper or written down or something. So an algorithm is simply a sequence of movements that when, if, that any a sequence of movements that when you effectuate them enough times, the cube will return to its original position. An example of notation would be R. Alright, so R would stand for the right face. L would stand for the left face, U would stand for the up face, D would stand for the down face, F would stand for the front face, and B would stand for the back face. Now, now if I wanted you, you to turn a certain face, I would say R, and if I said R, you would turn the right face clockwise as though you were facing it. Now, if I wanted you to turn a face counterclockwise, however, I would say prime after saying the letter corresponding to which face I wanted you to turn. So, if I were to say R prime, you would turn the right face counterclockwise as though you were facing it. So, this would be R prime, this would be L prime, this would be U prime, this would be D prime, this would be F prime, and this would be B prime. So, now that you know the notation, we will get down to learning how to solve the cube. So, first step, of course, is solving the cross. So, to solve the cross, we would immediately put the white face as our bottom. So, we, I can tell that this is the white face because the center is white. And so, I would immediately hold the cube, remember that that face, the white center, or the white face, is, on, is the bottom face. So, First, I would try to get all the sides with white on them around the top yellow center. So, like, you would want your cube to look something like this, right? With all the white sides facing up around the yellow center. Now, how you would do this is... You, is, this is just intuition, so there's no algorithms for this step. So, I see this one can be moved up here like this. This one down here can be moved up here like this. This one here can be moved up here like this. 
Now, if ever you have a case where you've managed to get the yellow, the white side in the top layer, but not f facing up, this is what you do. You would simply get that side that is fa facing the wrong way out of the top layer like so. Move the top layer so that there is something, so that there's an empty space above it, a space with n no s white side around it, and move up the side like so. Okay now once you've got them all around the yellow center what you would do is you would look at the color that is not white on the side cube so this one's green now you would find the green center right here and you would turn the top layer to line up the side like so with the center and once you have done so you would turn that face twice so if I lined up the green face I would turn the green face twice so 180 degrees so then I find the next one this one's red line the red up and you would just keep doing that with all the center so orange orange turn twice blue blue line it up turn twice and then the cross is done all right that is the end of step one uh, to, if you're interested in learning how to finish the cube you would wa have to watch the rest of the videos and uh, you I would practice this step until you can do it like skillfully and yep yeah, be seeing ya